This video will show you how to learn more about education abroad by navigating this interactive PDF and clicking different parts of it to take you to pages on the Education Abroad website. Step one is to attend a Western Abroad 101 session. We welcome all undergraduate and graduate students who are interested in studying abroad. Our staff is currently working to put the information session content online. Please check out this Abroad 101 webpage for content to be uploaded soon. In addition, we have a webpage for parents and families that includes an FAQ. Step two is to research your program options. It is important to look at the page, things to consider, before you search for a program. Here we have outlined various factors that go into deciding what program is best for you, such as your graduation timeline, different housing options, and terms to go abroad. Check out our major advising pages or maps page where you can search for your programs by your major, minor, or area of interest. When reviewing program listings, you can use Control, Find, or Central plus F to find a specific class or requirement you may need or be interested in. You can conduct a specific program search by using our advanced search tool and search by term, region, country, and even field of study. After clicking search is where you can see at abroad deadlines, apply for your program of interest, and click the program's home page to find out more current information such as fees and deadlines. Step three is to learn about funding for your experience. Programs and exchanges vary in price and many grants, scholarships, and loans can be applied to study abroad programs through EdAbroad. EdAbroad's goal is to help you identify programs that fit your academic, professional, and personal goals that are within your budget. Check out our financial aid webpage to learn about what types of aid may apply to your program costs. Look into our scholarships webpage to view and apply to all various scholarships available. Remember that when you study abroad, you are still considered a student. So in addition to all the study abroad scholarships, you can also apply to student scholarships. Remember that the most common reason that students do not receive scholarships is because they don't apply. There are a variety of program options with a wide range of costs. To search for programs based on their affordability, it is important to look at our cost effective programs page where you can search by region and terms to see what the most affordable options are. Step four is to learn about your region of interest. We encourage you to talk to other students or education abroad peer advisors who have gone on study abroad or exchange programs in the past. You can read about past student experiences on our page, student blogs, and you can also read program reviews on this Abroad 101 reviews link. Lastly, step five is to apply. There are two applications when studying abroad, one to the WW Education Abroad application and one for your program exchange or internship application. Thank you and remember that you can click this link, Education Abroad logo, and get to our home page to start exploring the world of learning opportunities. If you have further questions, please contact the Education Abroad office. You can reach us by calling 360-650-3298 or emailing edabroad at www.edu.